Hey guys, Devin here with Lifetime Preparedness. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the uh, report that came out um, in the news um, uh, regarding the super EMP um, that apparently uh, China has um, been working on. Um, apparently it would severely affect um, our military ships as well as rest of the uh, infrastructure in this country. Um, from what I heard, I mean, I assume it's the same as, uh, the usual EMP, and I know a lot of us, um, who are, uh, preppers, we prepare for an EMP. It's very common, um, uh, in my opinion, it's the worst possible case scenario is, uh, an EMP. The CDC says that 90% of Americans would be dead without the power grid within 12 months 90 percent dead in 12 months without the power grid that means no food people aren't gonna have food people are gonna die of dysentery because they're not drinking clean water because they have no way to purify water they have no way to get fresh water naturally they're gonna be drinking pond water lake water stream water river water whatever they can find in their yard it, people are gonna be drinking whatever they can to have water and they're gonna die not all of them but a lot of them people aren't gonna have food the food production is gonna be stopped completely uh you know some small people uh, like farms maybe can still operate if the people who work them are in the community or if the community bands together and works those farms um otherwise you know it's gonna just be people in their backyard um growing food they can keep going but the big farms that fill the grocery stores for the most part they are not going to be able to keep going and on top of that the transportation the, the food transportation in this country it's it, the grocery stores rely on a just-in-time delivery system just-in-time delivery system um and if there's no vehicles if there's no electricity one all that food that's in your freezer all that food that's in your fridge same with all the food in the fridge and freezers at the grocery store. They're going to be bad within a few days, at least, depending on, you know, your situation. Um, you maybe can push it off a little longer if you happen to have a working generator. Um, not everyone has access to a working generator, but, um, you know, we'll uh, do what we can here. And we'll... Uh, try to save as much of the food uh, that's why it's best um, if there is an EMP to use those frozen foods to use those uh, you know foods in your refrigerator first and then the food in your fr freezer before tapping into your other food if you can help it um, that's generally the way um, it's it's depicted in shows and books and movies um, and that's generally just good advice I mean if your power's out for a week you're gonna eat your perishables first even if it's just from a winter storm in here over here in the northeast or if it's uh, a hurricane um, down in Florida you know wherever it is whatever it is um, you want to eat your perishables first um, so if if they uh, if say China let's go roll the scenario if China does hit us with an EMP um, we're not going to have the tra you know, transportation for food. We're not going to have the production of food. Um, we're not going to have, uh, you know, fresh water. That's going to be tough to come by if you don't have any water filtration or any way to uh, purify your water. Um, you can boil water. You can use purification tablets, a filter, but you got to be able to filter your water. You got to be able to have clean water. If you don't have clean water, you're gonna you can get dysentery and you can die from that. Um, you don't want that, and if you don't have food, you can't eat. Your family can't eat. That's just death without food, unfortunately. Um, so today, um, I went, while well, we're on the topic of food, and I got 50 pounds of rice, and I started packing it away. I want to show you guys, this is in the one-gallon Mylar bags. I like them like this. Let me show you the inside of the bucket here that's how I like doing them so that way there's three on the bottom and then one up here that's how I like doing them and then I put this one right on the top 
And uh, what I'm going to do now, put those down in the top, lay that one flat, and then I put the lids on. From right on. I like these Home Depot bucks. It's a little cheaper than Lowe's, but they're the same quality. Um, can't get my camera angles right today. But, um, yeah, no, if um, the EMP, if there's an EMP, uh, you know, we really don't know. There's never been an EMP before with this much technology or a solar flare that has taken out the power grid when there's been this much technology. It hasn't happened since we had the telegraph. And that was you know, a major blow, but they were kind of used to it, and, um, you know, if, if China was smart, and they want, now, attacking the U.S. is not smart, it's not, but if they were, an EMP would be the best way to do it, unfortunately, I hate to say it, but that would be worst case scenario, and China's not dumb, they are not dumb, they know our economy's hurting, they know we have uh, civil unrest, um, and now they're, you know, pursuing, it, it looks like they're antagonizing India, um, as well as Taiwan and Australia and, um, us, and we're still going through that trade war as, uh, the government calls it in the news, but, um, yeah, they, uh, could take advantage of the situation. They, they definitely could take advantage of the situation, um, and, you know, if they have do have those capabilities and those uh, weapons, they could uh, knock the U.S. out. They could knock us right out. And, oh God, we I don't know if 90% of people would die. But if my best guess, at least 70% um, in that year. I mean, it depends on how, how much other nations can help because we would need the help. And that's really not going to help unless, you know, you're in big areas along the coast, because that's, that's where they're going to be coming, they have no way to contact the people unless, in the middle of the country, unless they're taking helicopters or planes there, because, uh, or bringing their own vehicles over, because, um, you know, theoretically, the vehicles aren't going to work, the, your generator's not going to work, your flashlight's not going to work, your phone's not going to work, that's all, uh, you know, theoretical, we don't, we don't know for sure, um, China I would be crazy enough to do it, I think, I think they would be crazy enough to do it, but, you know, when it comes down to it, we really don't know, we know that the, uh, you know, infrastructure here, the power grid is very weak, and we know that people, um, have hurt small portions of the power grid before, um, and they didn't have to do much. I believe one guy uh, took out a whole section of uh, New York at one point by shooting a um, power. It was either New York or California or something like that. Shooting um, one of the uh, power generation stations or substation or something like that. Um, but that's all they had to do. And they took out a portion of that area. Um, they, they could do that. If they hit us with an AMP, it would be bad. And that's why we need to stock food. I please go out and stock food. Store long term food storage. Uh, long term food storage. If I can talk right, long term food storage. Short term food storage. Canned goods, rice, your beans. I mean, even even these emergency ration bars. If you can stock up on some of these packets of food, cans of food, freeze. Packets of freeze-dried food. Up here I have buckets of freeze-dried food from Walmart. They're, uh, I don't know exactly how they are. I plan on doing a review on those at some point. But food. You guys gotta get food. <sighs> Having a corona for work tomorrow. But, um, yeah, no, the EMP would be terrible um and if you guys are planning for that to be your you know that every, we all have that one thing that we all prepare for and um that's the group power grid is high on my list if not it's the number one thing that i prepare for is the power grid um obviously we have basic preparedness so we're covered for winter storms 
I have a full pantry. We we have enough food. Um, it's just uh, if if there was an EMP, I wouldn't have enough food. I don't have enough food. I've been prepping for years. I got a couple. I got hundreds of pounds of rice. Hundreds of pounds. I have beans. I have pasta. I have everything. Not everything that I want, but I have a lot more food than most prep, most starting preppers. Because um, I know a lot of preppers in my area, and they do not have this much food because they've just re I've got I got them into it recently, and I know it's a lot, and it takes a while to prep, takes a while to stock that food up, but you guys can do it. You just have to keep working at it. Five dollars a week, ten dollars a week. I mean, even if you do two dollars a week. Every paycheck, $20 a paycheck every two weeks. Whatever it is you can do, do it. I highly recommend, you know, a Sawyer Mini, a uh, minimum water filtration, um, a Berkey water, a big Berkey. I have a big Berkey, and I absolutely love it. I use it for almost all of my drinking water. I buy bottled water as well because I like to have that on hand. Gallon, and uh, I get the bottles, but I have a Berkey that I use. Um... Also, um, a way to cook your food, uh, start a fire afterwards, that's very important. Um, and now, with the EMP, um, you can create a Faraday cage or buy one to protect your uh, electronics. Um, you can create big ones, little ones, um, depending on what you need to uh, protect. Um, now, seeing that news with China, that's going to be one of the next things that I do. I'm going to be... Um, building a Faraday cage and putting, especially putting, uh, flashlights, batteries, things like that in there, because those are, for me, one of the most important things to have is light. And I don't want to rely on fire for my light. I don't. That's not what I want to rely on. And I'd rather have flashlights, uh, for, you know, when the shit does hit the fan and there is, um, an EMP. Um, if it happens, I hope it doesn't, um, but unfortunately China is, um, I'm very concerned about China, very concerned, um, so yeah, I implore you guys all to go out and stock food, stock food and water filtration, you know, if you can, get your toilet paper, if you can, get your body armor, but food, water, those are the two things that I, I want you guys to go out and get. I, that's all that's all I'm focusing on now that I ordered my body armor and I have a full pantry I have long-term food storage I bought my body armor and now I'm buying food and I'm buying more filters and that is what I'm focusing on right now all right so I'm gonna get out of here for the night you guys have a good one